Hey there, it's Brown. I'm, I'm coming to you from my quarantine. I'm actually my whole family's home. I'm in this echoey room, my husband's office, and he's a gamer. He actually writes games, and he is creating a, a pretty elaborate board game with a like a dice roll, like a Dungeons and Dragons type of um, underlying, you know, structure. It's pretty cool. So that's why you see all of this, his inspiration. But, um, you know, I've been thinking a lot with with us being cooped up and found this home and I actually just got ready to go for my run and I walk out the front door and it's raining and it's really cold. So I decided to, to instead of being like, Bleh, you know, it's not working out for me, I'm just going to do this video. I haven't done a video for a little while. I've been repurposing some of my old content. Um, I've been writing my book and what, what's coming to me is I've been learning about, I actually connected with someone recently who has been teaching me about human design. If you haven't heard of that before, just take a look at it. It's just, it's, it's like permission to be who you are. It's like, oh, Yep, that's pretty accurate about how I operate in life and to grab hold of those strengths and just run with them. And one of the things about me, and you may feel this way too, and this is part of the reason why I'm putting this out there, is one of the things about me is that I get inspiration in the moment and I gotta act right now. If I don't, and I'm holding my phone, sorry, it's so wobbly. If I don't, it's, I'll forget. It's on to the next thing, you know, and and I kind of leave myself in the dust if I don't take action immediately. And what happens in my experience is that I'll have um, people coming over here and comparing themselves to the way that I take action, um, wanting to respond, but then comparing themselves like they want to be exactly that kind of leader and have all the ideas flow to them and you know just feel that strength to step forward and take that action and then then they you know get emotionally wrapped up and when I, like this is important especially in this time because i'm still even in quarantine taking action and i see other people doing this too and i i just i, I want to so as a leader i'm like 9% of the population of the planet i represent 9% of the population of the planet who are really powerful action takers and idea people who aren't afraid to just step into it and see what happens and throw mud at the wall. There's not very many people who have that kind of, of strength and the rest of the, there are a lot of people, lots of people who are manifesting responders who are, um, and this, I have very little understanding of all of this, but enough to say, it's really great permission, especially if you are aware of your energy. Um, it's it's super powerful. So there are people out there who are literally designed and and thrive on being a responder to somebody like me who who just goes, okay, let's take action. And so you like I'll have a group of people who are like, okay, let's go, Bronwyn. And then what happens is when people start comparing themselves, so I'm going to encourage you not to do this. Don't compare yourself to the other leaders. As a mentor, as a leader, as a thought leader, it's just what you are. As a team builder, it's what you are. You may be just like me because you're a team builder. We'll see, you know, and that's okay. If you're not, then it just means that it's a different, that you go about things in a different way. But there are manifesting generators out there. And I love the verbiage because it makes me go, ooh, that means like I'm going to go out and light the fire and I have somebody to pass people to, to keep them fired up and keep generating the, the power, <laughs> which is exactly how I see it, to keep generating the power to help my people stay motivated. So I connect myself with other people and this is just like how I always operate. It's total permission to be exactly what I am. And in the comments, if you wanted to tell me, are you like that too? Are you either a lone wolf or the leader? And are you the maverick if you're following somebody else? Like I just, um, I just joined a cause, a women's cause, because they do all kinds of charity work and I'm super excited to lead out in creating a, a I mean, there's a whole lot and maybe I'll just make another video telling you all about this Tribe of Queens women's movement. It's designed to lift and support the women 
who love and have compassion for the men who are at this time in history. There are so many men who are just so injured. They've injured themselves. Society has injured them. Culture has injured them. And they're just so injured that they don't know how to operate at a higher level. They can't seem to find work. They seem to want to spend their whole life consuming video games or pornography or whatever it is that they're consuming to bury their head in the sand because it's too hard and they're just so injured that that's like the band-aid and they don't know how to see it. So so this, this man that has tried really hard to help men has decided that he's going to help the women who love their men. And it's not just about that. It's about lifting up the women who need the sisterhood because some of these women are divorced now. Some of them, their husbands have passed away for um, a, a various different reasons. Some of them are really, really, really hard. Um, and, you know, okay, so I'm going to tell you about that women's movement later, but at, in this women's movement, I'm one of the founding leaders and I can't be subordinate. This is just one of the things about me. I must be able to operate in this and be a trailblazer the way that I operate. And in this scenario, this gentleman who has started this movement for women understands this about me and respects it and allows it. Never tries to lock me into, he said, you, you don't color in the lines. You don't even need the coloring book. Go, <laughs> right? And so, so this is something about me that maybe you need to hear and maybe you need to feel this as well that it's a you're allowed to have permission to operate in life you're allowed to be somebody who tells instead of um waiting around for somebody to tell you right so i want to introduce you to somebody who can give you more information on that um it, especially with regard to your branding and I actually asked her, her name is Natalie, I actually asked her if she would put something together for my audience that would allow them to really get to know who they are. And she shows how that can show up in your branding. So when you hire your branding guy, what I have a branding guy for you, when you hire that person, you are actually ready because you know yourself so well. You know exactly what you want to have represented in your branding and then when you go to him, to create the brand guide and the graphics and everything, you have that much more power behind you. My arm is getting tired, but I have so much more to say to you. And so that's the point of this. I want you to hear that because there's hope in it. And her thing is only 17 bucks. So like she created this micro course in order for you to be able to, to utilize it. If you don't want to, that's okay. But think about it. Okay, go to go like look up human design and see if maybe you can get yourself a little more permission to just be you. There's a lot of science behind it that I don't understand, but what I got out of it personally is I saw this, this description of myself and realized not only am I not alone, because I often feel lonely, because I'm either the leaner, leader or the lone wolf on things, and sometimes as the leader, I'm the lone wolf, just because, just because others don't, usually understand how I operate. You might feel the same way. And with this permission comes a higher energy. Like, it's like, ooh, I like myself. Ooh, I finally love myself. And like, look, I just got permission to be who I am. Let me go study out what who other people might be and the combinations that are there for other people. And it just feels that much easier to be who you are and to accept yourself so your vibe can be up. And you know that my the core of my message is seeing the best of your in yourself and others. When I learned that, even though I know all the laws of the universe, universal laws, I understand the enough to be able to operate in this universe and to know how things push and pull. And just like gravity, it's real. The law of attraction is real. It starts in your mind, it creates your vibration and and you know, when you're posting, when you're, when you're um, interacting with people on a sales call, all of that, your energy and what you think about yourself actually comes through to other people. They can tell. They can tell if you feel like, just kidding, don't really listen to me. I don't really want you to buy something because 
you know, I'm scared of me, of being me and having you see me. And so as soon as you can see yourself and be like, oh my heck, I'm so strong and amazing. And this is how I operate. And I'm so glad I'm just going to allow that. It's so much, so much easier to be successful. And here we are. Now I'm going to really jump into this. I hope you're still watching. Those of you who are still watching, it's, it's going to be, you know, here's where, here's where you get some inspiration that really packs the punch. I've been studying people that rise up out of the dust when there's a great depression, like what we are going into right now. We've been in a recession for a really long time. Now we're in a depression because of this Corona thing. Everybody's quarantined. It's because of the quarantine that we're having this trouble economically, but it's a blessing. It's an economic reset. And this is how I'm choosing to see it because it's a high, vibrate, high vibrating thing. In the past, thought leaders have risen up out of the dust because the economic reset created a situation where people needed inspiration. And this is where you come in because you are an inspiring mentor. You are an inspiring thought leader. It is what your message is all about. So as you go forward, creating your content, make it less about selling something and more about inspiring people. Inspire them. Make your offer, make your invitation. Still needed thing. But inspire people and make the energy behind everything you do out there about inspiring people. This is what Napoleon Hill did. And he was strategic. And he rose up from absolute poverty. He did not know how he was going to feed his family. He went into debt to buy a suit so that he could feel strong and powerful. Because the psychology behind what you wear is important. You dress for success for a reason, not because you think you're better than everybody else, but because it impacts your own psyche and your own confidence. It also impacts the people around you. And there's, there's actual science to that psychological mind, mental behavioral science. That's actually useful to you. If you will put it to work, I encourage you to read the law of success. If you haven't read it, it's only like $15 or something like that on Amazon prime. It may take a while to get to you right now because of the quarantine and we don't know what's going on with all of the delivery people. Um, I've ordered things and it's been taking a really long time to get to my house just from across the, the town from me. So it's usually one day, but it's worth getting your hands on and studying, even though it's like a huge thick book, there's so much in there that's applicable to our day right now, what you're going through today. If you don't have that, if you don't know, if you know, if you don't have the understanding that you need of yourself and how this world operates and how we bump into each other and how even our thoughts bump into each other and improve each other or hurt each other, if you don't know how auto suggestion works, we're going to talk a lot about this because this is what's on my mind and this is how I want to inspire. And one of the, because like I was saying, I get the, I get the, that spiritual nudge and I have to take action right now. This is one of the things that I must take action on. And I don't care if my videos are raw right now. I only care if I'm inspiring you. I only care. Like I see everybody out there. They're still just like capitalizing on all of this, but I feel differently about it. I feel like it's time to just not worry so much about what my brand is right now. This is my face. This is me. You're you. Stop worrying so much and go out and show up and inspire people because that's what they need. They need to feel better and they need that one person that they can, can jive with and connect with. And that might just be you. Whether you're holding your phone like me, instead of putting on a tripod, whether you have the right background behind you, whether you have, uh, you know, know exactly what you want to sell. It doesn't matter right now. What matters is that you are connecting with people and getting on the stage, the digital stage, so that people can see you and putting your voice out there and saying, Hey, I can help. There are lots and lots of you out there that need inspiration. And there are more that, you know, your voice is needed. You actually matter. Even if you're saying the same thing that somebody else is, it doesn't matter. You're saying it from you. You're saying it from your energy and from your knowledge and from your, your, your passion. So get out there and say it and stop waiting around. Stop fixing, stop doing websites right now. You need to be out there inspiring people. That's what needs to happen. Okay. I love you. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. 
Um, like this video if you feel like it empowered you even just a little bit. Leave me a comment if you have something nice to say or a question or whatever. And let's go ahead and get out there and inspire as many people as we can. They need us. We'll see you later. Bye.